Well, we just made it to Vegas. How are you feeling? I am ready for sleep. <laughs> you ready for what? A nap. For a sleep? Pretty sure you spent about a third of that flight napping on my shoulder in an awkward position. Oh my god, like everything is so sore right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, just got in. What's the plan? Um, so, I think we'll probably go get the rental car. I'm just getting it close because you speak very quietly. So I have a, a really awkward mask on my face. <laughs> um, rent a car, hotel, and I need to train before I honestly fall back to sleep. Alright, so we'll go get it done and then maybe we'll show you guys some of the uh, rest of the day. And you gotta love Vegas. us to our rental car location which we still actually don't know how far away it is <laughs> I uh, am used to getting up early ish when I say early like just before seven which wasn't too much different honestly this morning but I'm used to getting up to multiple cups of coffee and then I go straight to the gym and I get active and then I have a full day I think I struggle when I have to get up early and then I just gotta sit around and twiddle my thumbs. Like my, I, I think because you're just so fatigued, you're running on adrenaline for a lot of it. So the minute you, you sit down or you rest, I know for me, I'm like, y'all, what's you going on? You confuse relaxation with exhaustion. I do. We definitely confuse relaxation with exhaustion. My body's like, what is this? So. We are uh, about to go straight to the hotel and then I actually didn't get to train this morning for obvious reasons, it's pretty early. Um, so I'm gonna, I haven't got very many calories today. I'm actually cutting and I'll go through my peaking protocols at a later time. But uh, I don't have very many calories today, so I haven't got much left and I don't wanna waste anything. So I'm gonna go straight to the gym try and get a training session on like just another protein only meal and then it'll leave me one dismal meal of about 300 calories left for dinner <laughs> yay <laughs> sorry i want to try and get that done i've got a hit workout i'm going to get in as well um so hopefully i'll survive hopefully i'll survive i hope my team too poor man poor man Oh, we're just on step 15 of 87 to get through this day, but uh, we're making our way. Got on the second shuttle, got the rental car, waited at the gate for 87 minutes, and then got out. Now we stopped at the grocery store. Now we're on the way to check into the hotel, then to the gym, then back to the store, and then our gift It is lunch. so hot. So hot. It's like, I'm guy. just wedding profusely. I love that that's what your concern is. is I, my only really concern is the temperature. My body is just messed up right now. I don't know. Um, usually you're a little bit more susceptible to feeling the cold, but I feel like my thermostat is not only more susceptible to feeling cold, it's also like, oh, if you get a little bit hot, Holly, we're going to let you know about it. So, <laughs> I'm dying. I'm, wearing a t I'm not used to wearing a t-shirt around the place either. I always wear sports bras. I'm like, yeah. Get on nearby and probably better wear some clothes. And uh, I'm hot. Okay, guys, good morning. It is Wednesday. So, um, got all settled into the hotel room. I've basically turned our hotel room into a kitchen. You should see this. I will, I'm going to give you a tour of the room, and it's already a bomb. So, please excuse me but uh yeah i've made a little kitchen and did all my chopping of veggies and such last night because i'm still going to be on pretty restrictive calories until friday i'm going to do a heavy carb up on friday and saturday just because i want to see if i can get a little bit leaner between now and then i still have some fat on the backs of my legs so anyways um got all my meal prep done we went to the groceries last night shelly and i and Lane, we uh, went to the groceries after our training session and kind of got all that stuff done. Um, and I think we kind of were getting into bed. It was about, I'm gonna say, 
1 a.m. Tampa time. Yeah. No, it was, 11, it was closer to 2. 2 a.m. Tampa time. So, we did get a little bit of sleep in today. We slept through till 7.30 a.m., which is 10, Tampa time. Ah, so, feeling a little bit better, um, but I was so hungry. I think I must have laid there for like four hours. But anyway, that's another story. Okay, guys, so this is our room. <sighs> okay. <laughs> it's been modified heavily. So, we have this nice big open area but what is the nicest is the view to the Eiffel Tower probably will not get a chance to swim in this pool unless it's Sunday so <laughs> anyway we have a gorgeous view out onto the strip um, and then our bedroom we have a nice closet for one <laughs> and i've got one of my dresses so this is um, our sash that we have to wear when we're going around um and this is my paris themed dress which i had altered and almost couldn't find the um store that actually made the alterations i'll tell you that story in a minute <laughs> let's finish the tour um this will be my bathroom and also placeholder kitchen I have just finished making my dinner. So when I go down to registration tonight, which is at seven o'clock, I will have something to eat. And then, Lane's bathroom. <laughs> so uh, what we actually did yesterday was a huge overhaul in the, we went to Walmart. So I purchased this uh, microwave because none of the rooms had a microwave. Um, and then I also had to get all of the utensils. So I actually forgot to pack my own scales. So had to get a scale, chopping board, knife, this, all of the seasonings, which you probably saw some in the other room. Um, went to buy all the paper towels, had to buy the garbage bags. Not that you really care for that, but everything you can see here, I had to buy. So the cooler, uh, all the drinks, the ice in the cooler, and then everything along here so they didn't they don't have bowls or utensils or anything so i had to get plates bowls utensils um coffee pot they don't have either so i had to buy my own coffee pot and the filters and the coffee uh and a bunch of things so this is kind of my little kitchen island bench for now um let's have a look i guess maybe at some of the foods that i've got so this will be mostly for friday and saturday on actual show day because i'm not going to be having any more very low carbohydrate up until then uh because i am not not shreddy enough believe it or not my hamstrings still need to get get a lot leaner but anyway um i'll have these as all my kind of powdered mix-ins up until the day before because they do have some sweeteners in them so then i'll go cold tur turkey from all of that um, lots of diet soda, which I'll have to kind of keep me feeling full or at least somewhat satisfied. Lots of coffee. And then I did a, um, grocery trip and got all my veggies and stuff. Sorry. I chopped all my veggies up last night. So I've got broccoli, um, zucchini, squash, peppers, cabbage, spring onions, um, kale. All my lunch meats are in here. There's also some prawns. I bought some prawns for a protein sauce, so they're already cooked. And then I've got my extra lean ground beef, um, some Greek yogurt, Greek yogurts to mix in. My low FODMAP sauces, I bought those with me. Bought my other low so um, FODMAP, low calorie sauces, egg whites, fat-free cheese. So this is kind of literally what I'm gonna be eating until I actually get on stage. And I'll have some carbs and some fats. So that's... That's my life for the next few days. Fat sauce for show day will be peanut butter. So obviously thinking about what can contribute to vascularity. It's not just carbohydrates looking good. It's also, um, I guess, nice full voluminous uh, blood vessels. And one thing that can do that is chylomicrons, some fats. So this is what I will be having on show day clearly i've already gotten into this uh just as a fat sauce over the last couple days so 
This is the room, guys. God, I just turned this uh, camera around and I look like death. I'm so tired. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Uh, we just had a lot of things kind of happening back home that I was thinking about and like just social media and stuff. And I was just laying in bed like anxious. So I don't think I got into bed until like two o'clock. Like I said, said earlier today when I was viewing um, Tampa time, it was about 11, 10, 30, 11 o'clock um, Vegas time. So I was exhausted and then I just lay there and my mind just wouldn't shut off. So I look like garbage, but anyway, so Let's talk about that Paris dress that I had hanging up. So I actually borrowed it from Cindy, who's preparing all of my gowns. Um, it was one of her old dresses that she wore to the Grammys a few years ago, and it was really big, it was swimming on me. So I only got that on Thursday, and I had to have it altered and ready to take out to Vegas by Tuesday morning. So thank goodness I found um, a place that was like, yeah, I can do it. I'll work on Sunday and have it done for you. No issues. So when I was looking up all the different alterations places uh, in South Tampa, um, there was one called, I guess it was Cindy Lou something rather alterations and another one called alterations Inc that had really good review. So I saved those numbers in my phone and I called them up first to confirm whether they could actually do it or not. And one of them was like, yeah, that's fine. Um, bring it in, we'll um, try it on, we'll get it, you know, um, tacked up and then we'll get it, get it ready for you. So I drive down and I remember kind of looking up, I guess it was the Cindy Lou one, um, and I put the directions into my Google Maps and I drive to the location that it takes me. So I get there, I don't even look at the sign, I just see alterations and I'm like, great, this is it. So I go in you know, I drop my dress off, I get a receipt, like a little invoice with, it's just got a number at the top. Like, you know, those ones that you kind of handwrite your information on and then you just give it and it, like there's two copies. There's the um, copy for the service provider and then receipt copy for you. It didn't have any information on it, which I only found out when I went to go and pick up the dress. So I call up Cindy Lou, the number that's phoned, I saved in my phone and She's like, oh no, I don't have, my receipts have my details, my contact information and the address. Uh, and that's not a receipt number that I would have on my invoices. You've got the wrong place. And I'm like, uh-uh. I remember plugging it into my Google Maps and driving there. She's like, I don't have your address. So I'm like, I don't believe you. So I go to this place. It's actually not the dress alterations that I took it to. So then I'm like, God, surely it wasn't the other place. So I look at the name, number that I saved in my phone. It's called Alterations Incorporated, Inc. So I call up and I'm like, hey, I've got a, I dropped a dress off to you guys on Thursday. Um, here's the receipt number. And they're like, no, our receipts are yellow in color. And again, they have our details on it. It's not a blank invoice. And I'm like, holy shit. Like, where is my dress? Can only be these two places. So. Oh my God, I think I went to about five different dress alteration shops in the area. Um, and there, I kid you not, there must be like 50. So when you go into Google Maps and search like clothing alterations, there are 50 different ones in this kind of general area. And I think my anxiety was so high. I'm like, I'm not gonna find my dress. And what had happened was that um, one of the place where I finally found it, she has her, it wasn't called either of those she has in Google Maps the incorrect name um, for her business in Google Maps. So I drive to what I thought was the um, Cindy Lou, whatever, it wasn't actually that Cindy, my dress, dressmaker's name, but anyway, the name of this place was um, incorrect and incorrect in Google Maps too. So I almost lost my dress. And thank God after the last one, I'm like, this feels better. I think I'm driving in the right direction because I'm not familiar with that area. <sighs> So that was a freaking drama and thank God I found it and it fits perfectly. So yeah, I'm excited. I cannot wait to uh, to try that on. I've got to walk over now and go and pick up my dress from um, actual Cindy Lou, who we saw this morning. Um, she made some changes to my dress that I'm wearing to registration. So I've got to scoot over there. I've got about an hour uh, and a half before I'm due to go and get my hair and makeup done for that. So I better get my dress. Work out what shoes I'm gonna wear and um, probably have a coffee and get ready for the afternoon. So yeah, I'm a little bit stressed because we didn't quite get through a training session this morning um, because Shelly and I were sharing a car 
um, she had to get back because her hair and makeup is an hour before mine. So I'm kind of just thinking like, what's done is done. I'm not going to make major progress now. It's more just like not wanting to put on copious amounts of body fat in the next couple of days. So I think I'll probably try and get a bit of a walk in um, probably after registration. So it'll be pretty late tonight at like nine o'clock. It's the last thing that I want to do, but you got to do what you got to do. Um, I might even go out and do the strip just for a bit of atmosphere, keep myself awake because I'm pretty tired on these low calories and I've got one more day tomorrow, Thursday on low calories. Um, and then I'll start kind of a backload and I'll go pretty aggressive on Friday uh, with my carbs and fill myself back out because I'm looking pretty flat at the minute. So yeah, that's that. Let's go get my dress, guys. Woohoo! Or not. Seven, three, one, two. You passed it. I feel like I just had a dyslexic moment. Seven, three, one, two. Seven, three, one, two. <laughs> I have no idea what these dresses are going to look like. Beautiful. So I had a vision. Hopefully was executed. Hello, hello. Hello, Ted. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. Smile, you're on you camera. See, see, you look hey. awesome. Oh, thank you. You always you look, you look awesome too, bro. Thanks, honey. Good to see you. Hi. 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 Exactly what our picture was, yes. right? So the other one is a little bit high, I think, in the bust line. So we're gonna probably want to take that down right here. See how thick that piece was? Oh uh, yeah, okay. I think we when we told them to make it wider here, yeah. I think they misunderstood that and they took it high. Uh, so we'll just okay. need to trim that right. down to make it a little skinny and down to make that a little sexier. But the rest okay. of it I think is fine. Oh, it's and then it's the across I love the material. Oh. Right? Look at this. I haven't Girls. pressed them out or anything for you yet. No, I will But wait I figure you. let's see how they fit first. You want to just throw them yes, on? Yes, yes. And see how they feel. Okay. Well, I think I'll probably try that one on first because yeah. that'll be the one that I wear to registration. Yes. And then we have some time to do whatever we need to do with that one. So, so and I will press, I have about a steamer up. the room to change room in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. So, there's a wall. There's a wall there. There's a wall. There's a wall. There's a wall. And a mirror, sweet. And a I think once I like pull myself into it a bit. Not gonna have any more, any more, more. Not gonna have any wardrobe malfunctions. <laughs> I don't think so. She I probably doesn't get that piece of, of uh, nostalgia. Yeah. Inside cups and things like that. If you need, yeah, stickies and anything else you might have. Yeah, I think anything I would probably end up doing is just sliding this back just a just bit. Just the hair, yeah. So it sits a little bit because the bottom of the cup is sitting quite a bit lower than my actual. Yeah, cup. and I think okay. one's higher than the other a little yeah. bit. Oh, maybe a tad. Yeah, so we'll just snug it down, but I think yeah, overall perfect. the fit is, I mean, perfect. it could be tighter, but I'm... A little bit. That's but it's good. actually very good right now. Yeah, let me turn around so you can see the back yeah, of it. Yeah, let's see the back of it. It's got the... It looks yeah. great. Beautiful. All right. Love it. Love it. Great. All right. Okay. One down. Now, next. All right. Down number Dang. two. Dang! You sure? You sure? Oh, the train is gorgeous. Oh wow! Yeah, that looks so amazing. pretty. Exactly the stage. Yes. Different. Yep. So pretty. So I think minor adjustments on this one. Yes. So I feel like I want to put another little loop Maybe on here, here, right? At this, yeah. just because it's, otherwise it's pulling down in the center a little bit. So right. We can keep it firm across. Here. Yeah, that way we can and it work tighter, tighter here. here. Right. How do you feel about the neckline? Is it okay? It's okay. I think it's. Do you want it deeper? Uh, is that possible though, with a short amount of time? Uh, yeah, I could do it by hand. 
Yeah, I mean, it would probably... Like, how much? Like, an there? inch? Just an inch? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's a little chunky. I feel like if we went an inch, it would be good. Let me mark. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, you're getting the VIP treatment. Oh, yeah, right? Huh? Sorry. Cindy's got about 80,000 competitors lining up for front room okay. couture now. You should tell, tell uh, the people that are watching what happened with these dresses. So I think we were both expecting them to be ready maybe a week or so ago. Yes. And uh, poor Cindy, you, you tell your story yesterday. Oh, my gosh. Uh -huh. Yeah, they got a little bit delayed. And so, what do you think here, Holly? Right there? Yeah, I think that's good. good. Yes, so we had to go and intercept the package from DHL and pick it up from the airport. I was going to change my flight, but fortunately we made it on time. But So she got the package at the airport? I actually had to go pick it up from DHL. I had to intercept it before it got on a truck and started to head to me because oh it was taking God. an extra day. Oh. So we zipped over there and then we ran to the airport and I was like, I have the package! <laughs> so I was like, should I get packages again? I know. Right. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to have to go shopping in Las Vegas. So, oh, no. we <laughs> so would have yeah. worked it out. <laughs> we would have made it work. But, no, it looks good, actually. I think that. And then we'll put an additional little loop here just so we can tighten it against the hip for you. So, you yeah, I like this one. where the seam is. Yeah, yeah, right here at the side seam, I think. Uh, maybe just ahead of the seam yeah. so that we can pull there. Yeah. And then we've got plenty of lace. Well, so, we'll cross one more time and then come here because then it will drop lower too, right? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Next one? This is it. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah, okay. That's it. We gotta get going. Yes. Cool. All right. Perfect. I'm glad they're here. They look phenomenal on I'm you. so happy with them. Minor changes. Easy, yeah. easy, easy. So we'll keep working on touching up all of this stuff. We waited to do some of this when we got here because it's really delicate. Yeah. So we're going to finish out. Look at, try to look at the shoes. I hate it. So these are right here. Look at the fun shoes. These are our oh, little feathery cool. shoes, right? They go with the winged costumes, so we're blinging them out a little bit more, but well, a lot more. But yes, <laughs> I thought we'd bring the feathers into anything we could because I love them. So. Yeah, I went to, I was, oh, I played golf with Ted, uh, like, last week? 31st, yeah. Yeah, last week, and then I went to his house afterwards, and all Holly's outfits are on the table getting <laughs> bedazzled, so yes. I can... I know that the, the real love and care has gone into these. Yes, exactly. It's labor of love. Absolutely. Oh la la. My Aussie girls, Rachel and Lauren, right there. Just heading in. My hair and makeup. Here's all the beautiful girls getting ready. Hi. Back out into the cold. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, they must be. I know that I just sound like a big pansy, but there is a 10 degree difference from these hallways to the rooms. I have goosebumps right now. So, anyway, makeup's gorgeous. I just had Aurora, drag queen, also named Josh, do my makeup, which we just discovered that she he is also the same person that did my hair in Atlantic City, except today I didn't recognize him because he had a really long wig on so it was like a black down to his butt wig and I didn't recognize him so that was funny so we have history we have roots and he actually did my makeup for all of the um, Atlantic City I guess looks so for a lot of the promotional stuff that I use for the pro fitness model um, yeah the bright red lip was what he did which was gorgeous so it's quite the talent I'm very happy with this and we're gonna now go to the registration get my numbers fill everything in get sashes etc etc and let the night begin we're gonna wait in that line over there Well, it's not a prime number. It is divisible by two, and I'm pretty sure I like it's divisible an even by four. Number, but this is 
do say if that was a seven, I'd actually be a bit upset. However, my lucky number when I used to play basketball was actually seven. My mom was always a nine. Everyone's lucky number is seven, though. Really? Yeah, you didn't who know that? Best, who are the best? Oh, I don't know any sports people from America, but who's like... Number one. 23 is the big number it's over here. Oh, yeah, there's been a lot of really good baseball and basketball players that have worn that. Yeah, well, I was seven, so I'm actually. My preferences have changed as I've gotten older. <laughs> now I like even things. Currently, I have OCD, like the testament. <laughs> You're nodding your head. See, I would like a prime number, personally. Like 71. 71 is a good number. Yeah. Nothing else can go into it, it stands alone. What do you think, Shelly? Yeah. What's your number? <laughs> okay, Shelly is 270. 270. Alright. Yeah, I'm so ready. So ready. Is that, did I hear that right? Yeah, okay, it's exciting, <laughs> baby. So we'll be up early. Have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. We have kids. Yeah, that's early. true. Yeah, they don't get you up that early. guys, we are back for media day. Today is Paris theme. Love, 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 love this dress too. I wish I could just live like this 24 seven. What are we doing now? Okay, so this morning is our media day and we are, uh, I guess, all required to kind of go in like a Paris theme we are staying at the Paris Hotel. So that is what I am rocking today. I love this dress. I simply wish that I was born in the 1930s. No, you don't. No, you, hate I, being, no. you hate being hot. I hate no technology. AC. I hate technology. Stop it. I like writing. I hate video and media. <laughs> I think I would fit in perfectly. <laughs> and I love that style of clothing as well. It's just like nice. So, anyways, I'm going to go take some photos. So basically what we'll do today is I'll get all of the girls um, based on their divisions um, and country. Um, and they'll kind of group all the girls together. So they'll put the pro fitness girls together. They'll put the um, pro figure girls together. And they'll do the amateur bikini. And they kind of put everyone together. And we just get a bunch of photos. So um, I'll use this for, uh, I guess, the Fit and Firm magazine. Um, and then I guess we can use it all on our social media too, so, yeah. So, I'm the most awkward person in groups when we just have to stand around, clearly. We actually ran into a couple of, I guess, science-based uh, folks. I did not realise that Brett Contreras was going to be here, but I've met a bunch of his girls um, before at previous shows, so it was really nice to run into them, get some photos, chat about the industry, and thank you so much to all the girls that I uh, came up and said hello and took photos. Oh my gosh, I was like, oh my god, you know me, this is so good. So that definitely made me feel really, uh, really good. And just hearing all of the success stories that people have had, either using our books or using the app or, you know, using our methods. So um, that made me feel really good because sometimes you don't feel appreciated when you work in an online world. But anyway, um, I have just got back. It is uh, almost one o'clock. I've got hair and makeup again. I'm going to wash all this off because this is way too heavy for a gym um, photo shoot. So I'm going to go get a quick workout in today. It's going to be a full body session. Um, I'll probably work at a pretty uh, low RPE, but um, quite a high volume. And I'm going to focus mostly on my lower body today. Um, my upper body is pretty, like it looks good, but I'm a little concerned about how my lower body is looking. So I want to get some blood in these muscles, um, just see how they're looking uh, under a bit of a pump. And uh, then this afternoon, I've got another photo shoot. So I'm going to be working with Sean Nelson. Um, we're doing gym scene, gym shots. So I've got hair and makeup once again. Um, and then we're going to head back over to Dragon's Lair, which is Flex Lewis's gym, which we shot at earlier. So it's going to be a busy afternoon and I need to get my energy. So I just had some caffeine, pre-workout, go out, work nutrition, and let's do it. Oh my God. Oh my God.
So uh, this is my new kitchen for the week. I have had many a glorious meal out of this bathroom. <laughs> Thankfully we have two bathrooms, so this is perfect actually. So I'm just making up a meal. I'm about to go to training uh, and get like a little pump up session in. So it is literally tomorrow is the show day. So today's training will be real light just kind of fun honestly just trying to get a little bit of a pump to see kind of how i'm looking so the goal to get on stage is to kind of look nice and full and muscular so um, by having a little bit of carbohydrate in this morning's meal and then going in training i'll start to get a better idea about how like good i'm looking <laughs> do i need to eat some more do i need to hold steady so um, that's what we're going to do and I'm just going to eat this really delicious looking bowl of food. So this has got about 50 grams of carbohydrate, um, 30 grams of protein, just under 10 grams of fat for each of these meals. I'm going to have one now and then one after I train. So should be looking pretty swole. <laughs> I'm like, I want to put it in my bag and I'm like, uh, it's probably going to end up everywhere. I might put it in a separate pocket. Put it in the back. <laughs> All right. Lip gloss, chewing gum, mask, keys, phone, wallet, room key. Oh no, this is your phone. Our phones are so similar now. Oh, well, you should have just kept the old one. Can you put the cracked screen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that my similar phone is an inconvenience to you, Baxter. <laughs> so, Vegas obviously has imposed a, their ma mask mandating again, which is, it's like your privileges have been removed. If there's a rule, your approach is always, how far can I push someone on this before I get in trouble? I have gotten in trouble once. I had my mask just hanging on my ear because we'd just been taking photos. And uh, he go, says to Lane, she needs to put her mask on and he doesn't say anything. And I'm like, thank God. I like looked, looked at the guy and I'm like, are you talking to him or are you talking to me? And he looks at me and I'm like- It was like this control your woman. I know, and I'm like, cause you can tell, you can talk to me. I'm like, what the heck? I was like, oh, How man, insulting. You just, hit a, you just hit a trigger point And right I was there. like, would you like me to put my mask on? Cause I'm just here, thank you. Just gonna take that one step, that single one. I, that one. I'm conserving energy right now. <laughs> <laughs> I need these steps for posing later. From My dad built a 65 foot yacht by himself. Just was like, I'm gonna build a boat. I guess I'll work it out. And away he went. And it was awesome built our house, has no labouring skills either. Just like gifted. Sounds oh, just like your dad. Yeah, you built our house, the house that you've been into up in Trevallon as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like anything that you can create something out of aluminium. He does like structures to bull bars, to like building out the interior of like trucks, boats, repairs on motorcycles, like anything that uses aluminium. What do you guys call it? Aluminum. Aluminum, yeah. Aluminum is way cooler. All right. What are you training today, Jeff? Push, push. All right, guys, so we are at our Dragon's Lair. This is Flex Lewis and Ali Lewis's gym. It is pretty badass. Good tunes today, Nelly, good tunes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go do a little bit of a walk first and then get after it. So I think um, today's workout, I will try to hit as many muscle groups as I can, but I'm gonna keep the intensity pretty low, volume pretty low. Just want a bit of a pump up actually. Nothing crazy. I think the last thing you want to do when you're getting on stage the next day is be sore and not be able to pose. So 
I want to keep the inflammation down and feel really good for tomorrow. So today's just a little fun workout. Oh my god, okay, I'm sore. <laughs> It's funny, I used the hotel gym yesterday to do a little bit of a workout and just changing up like an exercise from the equipment that you normally use at your gym, even though I kept it pretty light, I'm like sore in places I haven't been sore in a hot minute, <laughs> so that was my bad. <laughs> oh. Feeling surprisingly less stressed today. I think it's because we don't have any like event meetings or commitments. I have a hard time being uh, forced to stick to time frames for things I think because having my own schedule with work kind of being able to set things when I want to do it. <laughs> when I have to commit to a set time I'm like <gasps> I'm not gonna get everything done. So I think that's why I'm feeling a bit more relaxed today. So I'm gonna go after here to the nail place because uh, by accident, you guys probably saw me talk about it last week, I fell down a flight of stairs. So I'm gonna go and have these bad boys fixed. So <laughs> it looks so bad. I don't know how more people didn't see this. <laughs> You guys have seen me post uh, about my client Shelly, also a good friend of mine. That's the man that she is related to by marriage. Good man. He's a physician out in Texas. And they've got a couple of really cool apps uh, that help with emergency services. Like, so we're impressed with Carbon Diet Coach. We have an app. So theirs is like the medical version of what we've got. It's really cool. So it's like for first responders, sorry. Um, so that the paramedics can communicate with the ER doctors um, so that they have uh, rapid patient care. Um, it's all integrated, it's really cool. So they've had a couple of really big endorsers, so at and are getting behind their app and a few others that I don't know the names of, but it's pretty cool. They're really good people. So we've got Dr. Norton and Dr. Beatty in the house today. And they call him Bring Him Back Baby. He's brought a few people back to life, that man. <laughs> okay, so just got down to the tanning room. It is Friday after five. The amateur show has just started. So, or well, 5.30 they start. So all the pros are booked in to get their tans this afternoon while the amateurs are kind of on stage. So I'm going to hop in. I'm going to turn this pasty white skin into a tan goddess. I just had my nails done. So uh, it's not exactly what I wanted, but I now no longer have a scabby middle finger <laughs> and uh, they have some glitter on them. So I'm pretty pumped about that. So when I come out of here, I'm going to look like I've been hanging out in the sun for a hot minute. So I'd love to bring you in guys, but there's a lot of naked women back there and you don't want to see that. <laughs> Let's do it. It's interesting for me because I've been on every side of this. I've competed myself. I prepped Holly for shows before we were really together. And I also uh, have coached a ton of people to do this sort of stuff. And obviously I've, you know, we've been to Worlds together before in 2019. And I mean, she's a phenomenal competitor. I mean, in terms of like potential, genetic, just like aesthetic, quite honestly, I've never been around anybody as genetically gifted as her. But she's also an extremely hard worker and very focused. But, you know, usually people, when they prep, it kind of becomes this is their primary thing they do. With Holly, it's very difficult because we're still trying to run the business. You know, I have two kids that she's stepmom to and she tries to be involved in their lives. And it's a lot to manage. It's a lot to juggle. And I think that she probably needs to get better at actually being a little more selfish sometimes because she'll feel guilty because she hasn't hung out with the kids or she'll feel guilty because she should be doing something for business. More recently in my life, I've come to the conclusion that if you try to do many things, you don't do any of them well. So I think I've 
try to not get her to focus on prep, but just remind her that, okay, if you're gonna add this to your plate, how's that gonna affect everything else? Because my wife is the kind of person that like, if she's left unchecked, she'll wanna do everything. And uh, I mean, but it's, it's, it's a real testament to how hard of a worker she is and how driven she is. And WMFF is very different. You know, if you're NPC IFBB, you kind of got to worry about being there. You go to a competitor's meeting, which is an hour long, and then you show up and compete. With WBFF, there's registration, and you got to do hair and makeup for registration because they expect you to look a certain way because it's a fashion show first and foremost. And then you've got the media day, and then there's a gala. You can't just rock up to the contest in your sweats and then get into your suit. They want you to be dressed nicely going in. I mean, I think she has hair and makeup tomorrow at 6 a.m. You know, but you know, I, I, at the end of the day, I just want to see her do well, feel like she hits her potential. I understand the athlete mentality. I've also been involved in physique competition enough to know that just a lot of it's out of your control. And a lot of it is very, very subjective. So to me, I've always told her, I'm like, you should come in how you want to come in. How you want to look, what your favorite look is, because I have seen, and I'm not knocking judges, they have a hard job, they don't usually get paid very much for it, they do the best they can. But I've seen judges say well, to competitors, well, we want you softer, and then they show up softer, and they don't do as well. Do this or do that, and I've just never noticed really any consistency with it, because you also gotta assume that you're gonna get the same judging panel every time. And that's not the case, some judges have different things that they value. So I think, especially for women who are in like a more subjective category, really it boils down to what do you find impressive? as a judge, as an individual judge. I mean, I think she's gonna do well. I think that she's put in a lot more attention to detail this time than the first time. We just kind of rocked up to worlds. Oh, there's a, a media day and we, uh, we did a dress. I didn't realize I needed to get dressed up, right? Like I didn't have an outfit, so I kind of hacked together or something, you know? It's not required, but when I got to the media day and I saw that all the spouses are dressed to the nines. It was kind of like, oh, oh, I, I feel kind of awkward here, you know? I had my, uh, basically I wore my wedding suit to the, to the gala, but thank goodness I had it, you know? So I've had, um, like I said, I, I came down here sneaking away to steal a cigar and a, and a beer just to relax because it's been a little bit of a, a hustle and bustle. But, you know, for me, I just want to see her feel like she hits her potential, to feel like that she didn't leave anything on the table and to be happy with how she looked. You know, I told her, I'm like, listen, you know, the people that follow you, they don't follow you because you're a, a former world champion or, you know, that's sort what of they follow you because you're real and they follow you because you put out really good quality information and you don't bullshit. Like whether or not you win or you finish in last place, that's not gonna change for any of the people that follow you. It's just about sharing your experience and your journey for them. And in some ways, I think that being able to reveal those flaws is actually a lot more empowering, especially for the women, because in this industry, you're just bombarded with unrealistic expectations. And we're honest about it. Like, listen, we do photo shoots because we like to have good images to grab attention, but then we give the education after we grab your attention but we don't look like this all the time. And we don't, even when we're that lean, we don't look like that because these images have been edited, they're in good lighting, you know, but we also try to, you know, share the realities and be real about it because we do see people that feel like, oh, I should look like this all the time. But I think women especially really deal with that. Nobody's hollering at Holly the Holly. And I think that's a lot of people in the fitness industry when you're a driven person, you know, you really want to do your best, but I mean, she looks incredible. I'm proud of her, you know, for putting in the work and doing everything. Cause you know, this is a, a gal who's trying to run three businesses, produce content, film all of her stuff, be engaged with people on social media, answering emails, dealing with clients, and also trying to, you know, be involved as a stepmom. And it's really, really difficult. I think that she has done so much better than any other time I've seen. You know, especially for her coming from an eating disorder background. Like I saw how the last the last preps affected her, and quite frankly, it got hard for me to be supportive because of how you know how hard it was on her. And she this time, it's like a completely different person. I mean, she has done a phenomenal job, and uh, yeah, I just couldn't be more proud of her. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing her rocket and I think she's more confident this time too like she knows the organization she knows what they look for I think she's really going to let loose tomorrow and I'm, I'm excited to see it all right let's hit it uh where where are you Okay.
Okay, so you, how much do you need? Um, just whatever you, whatever you need. Water's okay? Yeah. Are you going to drink it? Because you need to drink fluid. Yeah, I know. Alright. Oh, I just want to make sure everything goes smoothly. I'll go get you some water. Just the exciting me checking out a $8 bottle of water for Holly. <laughs> Your water? That is the that is worth more than its weight in gold. Do you know how much that was? Uh, I bet like ten dollars. Seven dollars. Yeah. Most of them paid for water. Sorry for interrupting. Did you eat your meal? Yeah, thank you. Okay, good. All right, I'm gonna get out of your hair. Okay, that was the butter. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go uh, get your next one ready, and just so you have it, you can warm it up. All right. All right. Well, the nice thing is she can just screenshot me from Carbon, what she uses to track everything I need and I can make the meal up. So that's what we're gonna do, 300 grams of rice, 15 grams of butter. You guys will never understand how difficult it was to track down said butter. I had to go, called room service, they couldn't do it. Almost had to walk to a Walgreens, but we got it done. I was able to go to the bar actually, and uh, they were nice enough to give me some. So Holly uses butter for her fats on show day because she has a very sensitive GI to FODMAPs. Normally I would not advise using copious amounts of butter as a health solution. Um, but in this kind of short term phase, what we're primarily concerned with is just getting enough calories, carbohydrates, fats. A lot of people think about filling out as being completely carbohydrate based. And carbohydrates do help with glycogen, but fats, actually when you eat fats, those get packaged in what's called chylomicrons and delivered through your bloodstream. And one of the things that actually increases vascularity well is having uh, quite a bit of fat at a meal because those chylomicrons, if you've ever taken blood from somebody who's had a high fat meal, it's almost milky. It's gonna expand the volume of the blood vessels and, uh, and hopefully give you some more vascularity as will salt. So that's what we're doing as well. A lot of people cut salt on show day, Huge mistake, do not recommend that. If you want vascularity, you need salt. It is a, in fact, it is a very big tool that we use big time. We also do not cut water because muscle is 70% water. And this is one of the big pieces of dogma I've been kind of fighting against in the contest prep space for a long time. So we're using foods that are what's called low FODMAP. So Holly is very sensitive to FODMAPs, which are fructans, oligosaccharides, monosaccharides, um, alcohol, polysaccharides, and something else. <laughs> so basically, these are different kind of foods that contain these, um, these, these sources of carbohydrate or alcohol that essentially... Uh, they're not, it's not that they're necessarily bad for you. It's just that the gut microbiome and the gut bacteria in your lower GI can, or they're very fermentable. And so they can produce a lot of gas. And so for her, she's extremely sensitive to that. And so that gas, when it expands, it actually causes her quite a bit of GI pain and bloating. So what we're trying to do is really use what's called low residue foods. So fiber is great. We love fiber. Fiber is wonderful when you're getting ready for a show because it um, helps fill you out. But that's exactly what you don't want on show day. You want very easily digestible sources of carbohydrate. And so that's why we're doing white, white rice. So again, salt is one of those things that, you know, people, it's very funny. They'll cut water, they'll cut sodium. And then what you hear all the time is, man, I couldn't get a pump on show day. You know, I felt flat. Then they'll go out and they'll have a cheat meal afterwards and they'll say, oh, and they'll get real vascular and they'll say, oh, you know, man, I just need to carb up more. When in reality, they had a ton of carbs before the show. What changed was they went out and they actually drank water and had sodium. And that's what allowed them to fill out and become vascular. So we keep salt in on show day. It's more about timing it appropriately and making sure that you have the right amount compared to your normal daily intake. Because sodium is something that's very tightly regulated. But there's a saying in nutrition, today's so sodium intake is tomorrow's sodium's output. Meaning your body regulates your sodium very tightly, um, basically right around 140 milli equivalents in your bloodstream. And it doesn't really change much outside of that, because if it did, you'd just die. Because uh, it controls your action potential across your cells. 
So, um, if you eat more sodium, what happens is your kidneys just excrete more sodium. If you eat less sodium, your kidneys excrete less sodium. So what you don't want to do is get either too high, too low compared to your normal intake. So we know Holly's normal intake is around 5,000 milligrams of sodium a day. So all we're doing is keeping it right steady and we're making sure that she gets a big bolus of sodium, about 2,000 milligrams, about two hours out. Make sure she has some, some good vascularity and feels good. So that's already salted? Already salted, so everything's good to go. So this has got 2,000 milligrams of sodium in there? 20 turns. Damn, this is gonna be salty as shit. It was so, it's so funny, I was sitting down there eating this and the girl was like, oh, are you over rice yet? And I'm like, this is the first time I've eaten rice in probably two years. <laughs> I just, it's not something that I eat very often, but I'm sure Lane's already talked to you about FODMAPs. Like I'm trying to keep everything pretty basic. I originally had crafted like a sweet meal with like some almond, no, some peanut butter and sugar and rice krispies. I was like, I haven't felt good the last couple of times I've eaten peanut butter because beyond like 20 gram serving is a FODMAP. Um, and same for even like almonds. If you have more than 20 grams of like actual whole almonds, it goes from being low FODMAP to high. And I'm just like, I don't want to fuck with that. Excuse my French, but uh, <laughs> we'll stick with Well, you are in really. Paris Hotel, so French is fine. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to be real old school today and eat something that is low risk. So You're a bro today. I am. Butter, rice, and beef. This is actually tasty. The first one yeah. I was like... Butter makes stuff pretty good, yeah. I know. So... And now I just need to get my... Ted and Cindy should be here momentarily. Costume and my dress. Got some wings. Hello! Hello! Oh my goodness! You look at these Do you like I don't it? want to mess you up. You look great, Bella. Ah, thank you. Fantastic. Alright, what else can I do to help? I do have these shoes are in here. Shoes are in so there. Green. Everything's wrapped up. All your jewelry. Okay, all your pieces. Yeah. Oh, good. All right. So we need to be down there. The show starts 5:30, right? Red carpet or yes. what's red carpet main event? Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll be down there cheering you on. So I just got a call from Shelly. Actually, her husband and Shelly were calling Lane and me at the same time. Her costume just broke. So she had it sent over, it's like a $6,000 like thing and it just busted on her. So Cindy obviously just was here and I'm like, Cindy, can you go and help Shelly? Cause she's a solar, she's got some stuff here. She's been helping, like she was still finishing off some of these things um, this week. So she's got all of her sewing equipment and they're in the Bally's, Bailey's, Bally's Hotel, which is like within the same kind of complex. So. Uh, Cindy's just rushed over to go and take a look and see if she can help Shelly out, but Shelly was in tears. Oh, I am so grateful that Cindy's here because I would not, I wouldn't be able to do anything. I'm a terrible sewer. I can't tell you the last time I picked up a needle and thread. So hopefully that's okay, but we've got like an hour until we have to go down um, for the morning show to start. So. <laughs> Oh my god, that is such hard work. <laughs> <laughs> 
the most well-rounded of anybody on stage. I said, you look like a thoroughbred amongst the ponies. Like, you're just, you're like tall, long, use that. Like, a lot of those girls are very short and compact, so it's usually like, and like, yeah. walk back, you know what I mean? That's why I was doing this. Yeah. Your hair. I know, I, only, I saw you do that, and then I was like, oh, okay, I'll just like, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. I've got to meet you, I'm Robert Brown. Robert, nice to meet you, lady. I am feeling happy now that I'm kind of off stage, but also happy about how it went. <laughs> so I think um, like that is so you guys know like I, the, the training part and the nutrition part, like that's the easy part, to be honest. When you, when I have to get on stage, like, I mean, performing, that's a performance. Like there's no question of a doubt. And it's not something that I do all the time. So it's like, hey, who are you gonna be today? So I had a lot of fun, but you're out there for so long. So I know you guys didn't get to see like a live stream or anything like that. Um, but I think the fitness girls, we had probably about 40, I'm going to say, maybe, yeah, there's about 40 girls. Um, and we were on stage for a good 20 minutes, or well, at least it felt like that. Guys, am I full of shit or not? <laughs> 20 minutes? Yeah. You, like, to me, I felt like I was very repetitive with my posing, but to, like, you know what poses look good, so you keep just kind of hitting the same ones and, like, moving around just a little bit so they look slightly different, but... Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like all the girls are in the same boat and it's like, you don't have 20 poses that you work on. So you kind of just keep moving and smiling and then, yeah, you get really dry in the mouth because <laughs> it's hot. So yeah, I felt really good. It was fun. So you killed it. Thank you. You really did. I could see him in the crowd. Like to start off with, I'm like, I've got no idea where they are. And like, no, you and can I know then where I, I am. I couldn't hear you either or anybody for that matter. And then I finally like decided to just look around for a bit and I'm like, oh, there they are. And then I can see Lane like doing like things with his hair. And he's I'm like, like, do your hair. And do then hair. he's like pointing over this way. I'm like, what's I'm like, he pointing move at? Move Because you were like five feet away from the next comparator. I'm like, move left. And, <laughs> and then, then at the end, I'm like, go get Steph. Because <laughs> Steph is the world champion. And I want Holly to like see the judges compared right next to her. So yeah. during the pose down, She's kind of like on the other end from Steph, so it's like trying yeah, to direct so her to go get her. Meanwhile, I look across, all the girls are just like standing at the front of the stage, and I can see Lane going, <laughs> and I'm like, all right, I guess it's now or never. So I just like march on behind all the girls <laughs> and go to the other end of the stage. I'm like, well, I just did the thing. <laughs> no, I, I, um, I was talking with some of the people in the audience um, who didn't even know you to come in. In fact, one lady stopped me and she's like, is that your wife, the blonde haired one? I'm like, yeah. She's like, she is insane. Aww, and nice. um, yeah, so I talked to Brett Contreras too. And Brett said that you had the no weaknesses, you know, the most well-rounded physique. Um, he's like, it just depends on, you know, what they go for. Like, do they go for like sexy Latina, which is Steph, you yeah. know, or do they go for like well-rounded blonde bombshell which is you right so yeah we're um, very different <clears throat> we are very different. very different and yeah. you're, you're much taller than the other competitors and you actually i say you look like a thoroughbred up there with some ponies is, is what i said <laughs> uh, no disrespect to the other ladies they look awesome but i just they felt did. like God, i feel like you awesome. really stood out really stood out um just your your suit your makeup your posing um your physique obviously and um, yeah, I'm just really proud with how well you've done. I think that this prep has been, would you say, much better than all previous preps you've ever done? Yeah, I think like you guys have watched all of my check-ins. I think um, not being attached to the physique changes and just kind of goal orientated, um, it's been a completely different experience. So like not fussing about, oh, you know, I don't look lean enough. Like that hasn't ever been really a, s it's questionable, <laughs> but yeah. I'm not attached to this. So it's kind of like, okay, just do the thing that you're meant to do rather than, you know, you're doing this because Process. you're so focused on, yeah. Yeah. process oriented versus outcome oriented yes and the funny thing is when you focus on the process the outcome is usually better yeah that's so. exactly how i would describe it so no it's been really good 
I'm, Carbon Works, Workout Builder Works. Yes. And Outwork Supplement, Outwork Nutrition the, Works. The fact that I honestly used Carbon for the entire prep, like I didn't make one adjustment. Like in previous preps, I've kind of, you know, looked at the adjustments and I'm like, oh, you know, I'll make, I'll just kind of override this. And I have, like, I stuck to it for the entire yeah. prep. Well, you can't tell people trust the process if you don't trust not the process. Yourself. Yeah, yeah. So, so I truly, I think there was one, the most, the last one, the last check-in, I think I had a non-compliant week um, and I was like 50 calories over and I'm like, I've got like six days. So we went for it. But yeah. Yeah, that's really I'm proud cool. of you. It's really You're cool. Awesome. All right, I guess you guys are going to see what happens tonight. I know. Costume theme wear this afternoon. Your We've theme wear is going to be on flea. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Shelly's like, okay, but food. That's for putting up with me. <laughs> for the last week, I was a monster. I'm sure of it. Yeah, but you, when, I, when I called you on it, you were kind of like, okay, yeah, I'm being a dick. After about three hours, we after you had a moment to be by yourself, you're like, yeah, I was a dick. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're my inspiration. A lot of girls up there. I love you. So um, I am the makeup artist that did Holly's makeup during the week. Um, she did amazing. She's beautiful. I love her. Yes, I love her so much. So, uh, Aurora, that's my drag name. Yes, Aurora. <laughs> you did amazing. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your amazing makeup. <laughs> Anytime, girl. Take it easy. <laughs> oh my god. What a day. What a long day. I thought proud you were of you. Gonna, what is this? Oh, I'm just proud I'm of just you. I'm just gonna hold your hand. Oh, you can hold my hand. That was really good. So I'm glad you're happy. And it's nice to be sitting down. So there's like five chairs backstage. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I stood the entire time. I just looked down at my toes and they're bleeding. <laughs> you don't need to see that. It's fine. <laughs> oh, what did you think? I, I thought it was very close between you and Steph. Uh, I was talking to like Brett Contreras and some other people in the crowd. Yeah. It was very split about <clears throat> who people were favoring. I think... You have the least weaknesses. You have the most well-rounded physique. You have the best glutes. Mm -hmm. um, you look like a thoroughbred, like up there. <laughs> it's it's really cool. Like just the way your body's put together. Um, <clears throat> like amazing symmetry, amazing aesthetics. Stephanie has very developed legs, mm. very lean, mm -hmm. um, really impressive. Like lower glute. Yeah. Um, and she has that that stage presence, like that Latina, I start the fiesta anywhere I want, yeah, you know, stage presence. Yeah, like that sexy sass hair. Yes, it is. so <laughs> that's why I have no voice because I was literally screaming at Holly the entire time, I need sexy, I need sass. I think I said, I want, what was it like, High stepping, hair flipping, booty shaking sass is yeah. what I said. I was just getting my phone was getting spam, and then he starts spamming Shelly as well. He's like, now Holly's not going to check her phone. So can you please text Holly or tell Holly X Y Z? Yeah, Holly. Like, yeah. For I those who don't you. don't know my wife, she'll like check her phone. You'll get like a a vomit flurry. of text yeah, messages, and then nothing for eight hours. <laughs> you'll get left on red. So no, I mean you did incredible. Um, I'm not. Like, Steph is an amazing competitor, obviously, like, four-time world champion. You know, um, I'm, I'm not upset about you being in second, so, like, yes. to be honest. By the way, guys, I got second because I don't know that that was... In the freaking actually, world! <laughs> actually announced. Running three businesses, putting out educational content every day, and being a stepmom to two kids. <laughs> you are my inspiration. Thanks. You're no, honest to God. Like, I was... 
We've had other preps before this that were much worse, like much more difficult. Mm -hmm. And I got to be honest, when you said you were going to prep again, I was very apprehensive. Yeah. I just didn't want you to go <laughs> Plain to... Plain was like... Mm. <laughs> I just didn't... I, I know how it negatively affected you in the past. Yeah, no, this is good. And I just didn't want to see you go down that road, but... I still haven't got a crown, guys. What do you think? Not landing City? <laughs> oh, I feel like I need my business partner back pretty soon. Oh my god, like I didn't think that I was materialistic at all. Like I didn't really, it's like it's a crown. I could go to the pawn shop and get one, right? But uh, it's like when everyone else has got one out there, I'm like, ooh, should I go back and do another one? <laughs> yeah, so that, after the first world, she goes, I didn't know I needed that, but I need that. But I need it. <laughs> I need one of those in, on my shelf. Well, I think you need to enjoy tonight. Uh, Take a couple of days, think about it, and then we'll come up with a plan. Um, you know, whether it's, you know, it is very expensive to do these. I'll just wait this it, again. It, like, <laughs> um, and more than that, it is a big sacrifice in terms of, like, especially business. Yeah. Like you've, I'm, you've I'm ready it. to get back to business. Yeah, let's get, let's back get to down, business. let's get down to business. I was playing that song, so we had it. I will put up some clips of our I backstage. I get those goosebumps <laughs> every time. We had that song. I forgot that I had my speaker out the back. So like about two or three hours into us all just sitting around, there was no music in our room. I'm like, girls, thank me later. I pull it out, put the tunes on. Business came on first. It was like dance party for about 30 minutes and then we went on stage. That was good. So, yeah, I mean, just an incredible job. And we have to give a huge, enormous, enormous shout out to Cindy mm -hmm. at, at Front Room Couture. Front Room Couture. And the Maven Designs, is that yep. it? Yeah. Mm. So like not only, I mean they went above and beyond in terms of not not only did they get Holly's suit, Shelly had Shelley's her suit, suit break. Broke, and Cindy was Cindy here like fixed fixing it, it up. Yeah, it amazing, funny. amazing. And then Ted was nice enough to loan me his, his jacket, which was great. Yeah. Um, they were just incredible, and they came to the show, and they loved it, so it was very cool for Cindy to see that. She, this is her first one. She's, this is her, Cindy's first one she's ever I done. I know. She knows it. Also, big, huge shout-outs to, I guess, um, Lynn Green for helping me with my posing. Yep. I did two posing sessions with Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. Uh, I totally wing that. It's like just a show. I guess your old performing self comes out. Uh, thank you to Outwork Nutrition, Supplements Nutrition throughout the course of my contest prep. Uh, of course, Carbon Diet Coach, our nutrition coaching pre um, app that literally prepped me start to finish. Not one single adjustment was made. Like, that was the bomb. So if you're wanting to get nutrition coaching... Out, um, Just for clarity, <laughs> it did adjust her macros. But she means she didn't mess with it Oh, I didn't all. change it yeah. at all. Yeah. Um, and also, a uh, huge shout-outs to... Who else do we need to say? Workout Builder. Workout Builder, Violin Workout Builder. Uh, the Road to Worlds program is available for you guys if you want to go and check that out. Mm. Training I've, partners, oh my god, there's going to be so many people that I miss and I'm going to come back and say thank yous to everybody. But if I missed anyone, please know that if you've had any involvement in this prep, huge thank yous. Thank you for you to support me through all of this because I know happy. you took took a lot of uh, extra work tasks off my hands over the last few weeks just while I kind of fine-tuned. So thank you. Yeah, well, on that note, big shout-out to our team as well. Yeah. Um, Samantha, Brian... Our coaches, um, Delhi, and then Delhi, the who was who was <laughs> good enough to come out here when Brian could make it um, and get behind the camera and, and put this together, and he's really worked hard, and we appreciate that. And um, uh, yeah, I mean, so many people were probably missing a ton, but just know it's not it's not due to lack of appreciation; it's due to lack of brain power at the moment. So, um, on that note, <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, and, and um, once again. Uh, thank you to the WBFF for putting the event on. Yes. <laughs> um, and also, uh, congratulations to Stephanie for her fourth world championship. Amazing competitor um, and uh, just nice person, too. She's always treated you very well. Yeah, she did well. All righty, guys. We're going to go have some shots. Shot, 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 shots. Because we're in Vegas. Woo! <laughs> All right, somebody give me a shot of caffeine. Let's go. <laughs>